Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPAG. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the mail activities under the app integration section. So for this walkthrough, we will see how the Outlook activities work. So first we will learn how to send an Outlook mail uh, with an attachment using the send Outlook mail message activity. So uh, here the sender and the receiver details will be the same. So once we send the, uh, when, once we send the mail, uh, we will, can see it in this inbox folder. And okay, then next we'll see how to retrieve that uh, mail using the get Outlook mail message activity. Uh, and then we'll see how to move uh, that particular uh, mail that which we received to from the inbox folder to another folder that we create. So we'll see how to move uh, that mail from the inbox folder to a test folder, we, uh, test folder that we create. Then finally, we'll see how to save the attachments. All right. So first, we'll drag and drop this send Outlook mail message activity. The send Outlook mail message activity sends a mail from a specified Outlook account. So now in the property section here, uh, we need uh, there is an attachment field. So if we have any attachments, we can provide the path of the attach attachment. So I'll come back to this. Um, since we do have an attachment, uh, we need to provide a path. Before we do that, uh, we will fill in the email uh, details, uh, such as the body. So here I'll give the body as, hi, this is a test mail. All right, the subject, I can give it as test mail, upload mail. Then this option is, uh, if this body of the email is in uh, HTML format, then you can check this option. But since uh, body of our uh, mail is not in HTML format, you don't need to check this. And this, there is no message to be forwarded, so we can leave this mail message field uh, as blank. Here, uh, this in input here it shows there is a field for account. So this is the account from which the uh, mail should go. So here, I'll give them the... And the name Alright uh, So here the sender and the receiver detail is the same Because this is a demo uh, test uh, mail so I'll give the two account, two field is uh, to whom we want to send the mail. So I'll send the uh, mail to myself. So I can copy this, paste it here. Now we will give the path of the attachment. So here, uh, previously I had created an Excel file called test Excel. We will use this as the attachment. So this is the uh, Excel file. So I'll press shift and right click on this. Click on copy as part and in square brackets we'll paste it. Make sure there are double backward slashes in the path. We give, we'll have to give it in square brackets because this is in the uh, array list format. So we need to give that in square brackets. Alright, now let's click on save all and run the sequence. Okay, let's open our Outlook. Here you can see we have received uh, a mail and with the body, hi, this is our test mail. Our subject is test Outlook mail and we have the attachment, test Excel. Alright, so now we'll move back to the studio and we delete this. Now next we'll see how the get Outlook mail message activity works. So what we're trying to do is we'll try to uh, re uh, retrieve this mail. All right. So uh, get Outlook mail message retrieves emails from Outlook. So here, uh, what we'll do is uh, first before we do that, we need to mark it as unread, and then in the input section, we need to provide the mail uh, Outlook mail. So. And our mail, mail folder is inbox. So I type in inbox. And here we can, uh, in the options section, uh, we can filter it based on the condition that we give. 
So now we don't have any, uh, we don't need to do any filtration uh, process over here. Uh, so we can leave it blank. So, and it should only retrieve the unread mail. So I'm going to check this box. And after it has returned the mail, it should mark as uh, dead. So I'm going to check that box. Here in the top, uh, field, uh, we can give it as how many uh, top uh, unread mails you want to uh, re want it to return. So if you have 10 top 100 uh, mails, so we can give 10, but here I am only going to give it as 1. Now the output will be in an array list format. So uh, the top 1 mail will be stored in an array list. For that we need to create a, a, a variable list of data type. Uh, so we will control plus key. Now var mail list. So this is a uh, var mail list is a uh, uh, array list data type. Now our mail which we return, which we which will be returned after we uh, use this activity will be stored uh, in this list as this variable. All right. So now I'll drag and drop a decision, and the condition I'll give it as if the count of this particular list is equal to 1 so that's a condition var mail list dot count equal equal 1 if that is 1 then you give an assign and var mail list uh, you create a sorry create another variable called var mail message and the value should be var mail list 0 so here what it means is it is calling the first element of our list so our uh, array list is var mail list and it only hold one element so we need to call the first element so we call it by using this uh, index so var mail list of zero will be assigned to this variable var mail message. Now what we need to do is this var mail message by default will be a type object. We need to change it to this data type mail message. All right. Now what we can drag and drop a message box, and here we can if we type var mail message and if you uh, hit the dot, here you can see uh, many options called body and uh, here you can see from details and sender subject. So let's say if you want the body, then you can just give the give dot body and click on save and run the sequence. So here you can see uh, the body of this uh, mail is hi, this is a test message. It will be displayed in the message box. Now let's click on OK. Here we will uh, uh, we will change this as mark as unread and we will change this dot body as dot subject and we will see it again. We will run the sequence again. So what it did, uh, did is it returned uh, this activity returned that mail and then it uh, read it read the uh, subject and it was displayed in the message box. So test outlook mail test outlook. So that's how we retrieve the mail. Um, yeah. Now what we'll do is we'll move uh, this uh, particular mail from the inbox folder to another folder. For that we'll create a new folder called test folder all right so we have the test folder here and we can delete this message box and drag and drop the move outlook mail message activity the move outlook mail message activity moves an outlook mail to a specified folder so here uh, we need to give the account so and the mail folder to which the messages are to be moved. So we have created a new folder, test folder. So I want to move it to that particular folder, test folder and the mail message. So here we have assigned the 
mail message. So our mail message is var mail message. So we can give it as var mail message. Now let's click on save all and mark this as unread again and run the sequence. All right. So let's open our Outlook and see here the inbox. We, we can't see that mail uh, in the inbox folder. Now let's open the test folder. Here you can see it has moved to the test folder. Now uh, I will move this mail back to the inbox and mark it as unread. And finally, we'll see how the save attachment activity works. So before the move outlook mail message, I will drag and drop the save attachment activity. Okay. So here we need to provide a folder path. Uh, so the save attachments uh, saves the mail attachments to the specified folder. So here in the input section, we need to provide a folder path. So we have, uh, we can create a new uh, folder called test folder and uh, we can give the path of that. So press shift and right click and press copy as path and you can paste it over here. Alright, so our message is var mail message. And the output uh, will be stored as an array list. So, uh, yeah, so here we can create uh, a variable called var mail attachment. We won't be using this output, but then, uh, yeah, we need to store it <laughs> and change it from the array list to object. Alright, so first it will return the uh, mail, it will check the condition, if the if once the uh, list has uh, one mail stored in this list, then it will move to this condition, then it will assign that uh, uh, the first element of that list to this particular variable, then it will save the attachment, then it will move that mail from uh, the inbox folder to the test. So let's click on save and run the sequence. All right, so first we will see, yeah, here we can see in the test folder it has saved that test Excel file in this folder. So it has saved the attachment and after saving the attachment, it has moved it to the test folder. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks so much.